everyone, Smoking Shadows here, and welcome to a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to split DS screens on OBS Studio, uh, more specifically, DS emulator screens. Um, there is a lot of videos out there on YouTube that tells you how to split the screens on OBS, but not on OBS Studio. I surf YouTube and the internet for a real long time, and I don't find any clear results on how to... Um, split the screens using OBS Studio because OBS used to have the subregion feature but they don't have that now in OBS Studio so I'm going to teach you how to split the screens in OBS Studio if you are stomped on how to do that alright so let's get straight right into it alright guys so the first step to get this setup rolling is to first open OBS Studio once you open OBS Studio it will look like this now that you have OBS Studio up and running now you need to open run your DS emulator and open the ROM inside it to activate the game. I personally use this Mume and as you can see I'm using Pokemon Black version as an example today. So now you got your OBS studio, your DS emulator, and your game up and running. So now go to the sources box it should be empty. Right click it to get the add option or click on this plus sign to get the add options as well. Now you want to click on window capture. Now you can label the, the top screen whatever you want, but I, you know, blatantly use top screen for convenience purposes. Believe me, it helps you on the long run. All right, so now press OK, and you come across a screen like this. Make sure that you see your DS emulator screens on this screen before you continue. If you don't, repeat the process again until you do. So, now you do. Press OK. And now the DS emulator screens are on our OBS recording screen. Alright, so we want the top screen, correct? So, highlight top screen, right click it, and go to transform, and edit transform. Now you see crop options on the bottom. There's left, top, right, and bottom. We want the top screen. So go to bottom and keep cropping until you achieve your desired result. Exit the menu. And as you can see, the bottom screen is now completely off the map. And you can move this independently. But we do have this top little layout right here. And we want to take that out for the top screen. So, right click it, transform, edit transform, and go to top, and crop it until you achieve your desired result. And don't worry, if you choose to, cho if you to, if you choose to crop again, uh, the crop settings will be saved, so you don't need to worry about cropping all over again. So now, we have the top screen. We can move it around and resize it however we like. But now we want the bottom screen. So we go to add, window capture, label it whatever you want. Make sure your DS emulator screens pop up on this menu. Press OK. And you'll receive a copy of the window capture. But now we want the bottom screen, not the top screen. So, highlight bottom screen, right click it, transform, and edit transform. Now we want the bottom screen, so let's crop the top off. Keep cropping until you achieve your desired result. It may be slow, but it does get the job done. Exit the menu, and now we have the bottom screen all independent. Now we can switch between the two screens and move them wherever we like. So that's pretty much the basis on how to split your DS emulator screens using OBS Studio. Now if you're wondering how to input these little screens on a layout, well first you need to make your layout on a picture editing program whether it be paint.net, Photoshop, or any other picture editing program. Alright, so now you made your layout. 
and you saved it as a GPEG or PNG format file. So go to sources, add, and go to image. Now label it whatever you like. I just label it layout because I'm simple like that. Press so press OK once you get your name. Pick browse so you can browse your computer for your file. And pick your layout. Press open. Make sure your layout picture ends up on this menu and press OK. Now your now your layout is now on the OBS recording screen. As you can see, our layout kind of overlaps the top screen. In order to fix that, go to sources and highlight layout. Drag it all the way to the bottom. This will enable the top screen and the bottom screen to overlay the uh, layout so that you could successfully put the screens on top of it. So now, press shift and hold the circular button and drag it until it fits the whole screen. Now, you could click any of these two screens and put them wherever you like and resize them however you like. And that's pretty much how you split the screens and put it on the layout. Now you know how to do this for professional recording videos. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully this helps. Well, I hope that clears everything out for you and uh hope this video helps you out and how to um you know split the screens on OBS Studio and now you can do professional DS layouts and stuff. So thank you for checking out this tutorial. If you find this uh video informative and helpful, if you do enjoy it, uh leave a like because that like will help support other people who are stomped on how to um, split screens as well using OBS Studio. So give it a like and if you guys really enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe for more content. And uh, thank you guys for watching and catch you guys later and as always keep it smoking.